Hello everyone and welcome to my Kirby's Dreamland walkthrough movie. Let's get this game started with a good old fashioned press of the start button and start with stage one, green greens. Man, those butterflies are incredibly vicious. Anyway, D-pad the move, you can press up in the air to float, and you can press the one button to shoot out. Yeah, I'm playing this on the Kirby's Dream Collection, so I'm talking Wii controls here. If you're playing this on the original Game Boy or, you know, virtual console stuff, just, you know, you know, switch buttons accordingly. <laughs> Anyway, we got a bunch of water in here, just hanging out inside this hill, just because, why not? I mean, that's where water typically is, is inside hills, but it's usually not bottled. Unless it's like in a landfill or something, and it got a lot of rainwater, you know, that came inside the hole, that, you know, that stores and stuff like that. It's just how things go, and hey, we've got Poppy Brothers Sr. suck in the bombs, shoot them out at him and you will have a golden time and easily be able to defeat him. Just watch out for that, because he likes to jump at you, and he's only got two attacks, that's pretty much it. This is a very easy boss. Well, the whole game is actually pretty easy. <laughs> In fact, this game was designed for uh, the beginner gamer, actually, so it's... Ah! So it's like the a very friendly game for beginners, despite ah, the hordes of enemies here, because Kirby... Kirby's pretty overpowered, in case you don't realize that. <laughs> so you won't have any issues with the majority of the enemies in this game, and yeah. Anyway, let's go inside the tree, which is comfortably carved out, and it, a lot of animals are living inside here. I guess maybe they are the ones that decided to carve this place clean, just so it's more livable. You know, they're, inside Inside of a tree is usually pretty filled with wood, and yeah, it's not, it's not really the best place to live unless you decide to clean out the place. Here you have a Maximum Tomato, which recovers your health completely. Those water bottles uh, recover two health, if I'm not mistaken. That, that I'm talking about the ones early on in the, the place. Yeah, you, you get what I'm talking about here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Major boss right here. It's Wispy Woods. Look out for its nose. The nose actually hurts you. Look out for those two. Gust of air. It's Gust of air versus Gust of air. Both Kirby and Wispy Woods are incredibly gassy. Oh, I think it's going to shoot. Yep. Oh, jeez. That was close. By the way, you can tell the health at the bottom of the screen for both Kirby and Wispy. Yeah, the top one there is Wispy Woods' health. And yay! Stage one is done. <laughs> That was incredibly easy. Woo! Stage two, Castle Lolo. -lo -lo. Let's start now. Kirby's got some terrible allergies to stars. I guess stars emit a type of pollen of sorts. It's not really all the best thing that you can do. I mean, there's not really much all that you can do. Anyway, you grab one, you grab a microphone like this and spit it out. You can kill all the enemies on the screen. And wait a second. I think that that, oh, that door down there actually leads forward, if I recall correctly. Yeah, this one leads to water bottles and some ghosty... Oh, not gonna happen. <laughs> and Shotso up in the corner. Bats, ghosts, bombs. These bombs can chain kill enemies like so, so they're pretty dang handy. Uh, you'll notice that in this Kirby game, you don't have powers. Well, in, in the stealing power sense, like you can't grab... Uh, powers from enemies like uh, Waddle Doo or whatnot. It's the first Kirby game in that in the Kirby franchise, so they haven't really fleshed out Kirby all that much as a character. By the way, there's a lot to explore in this one particular uh, area here. So I don't <laughs> and I'm not sure which path I should take in all honesty because uh, the the paths are oh maybe I I think this is actually the right path because ah, no, that, I can't go back. Oh, that you can't go back through the door. All poopers. I wanted to show other portions of the areas, but that's okay. Maybe all the doors lead to the same area. It feels like that particular screen like loops, and then all the doors seem to end up at the same places. I haven't really like found any others there in my other playthroughs. It, it just might be the way that I just happen to play the game, though. And anyway, that was a really easy mid-boss known as Lolo Low. This is Castle Lolo after all, but uh, there's actually a, a, a I don't want to say doppelganger, but a friend of Lolo's and oh geez, ghost attack, 
and we're about we are going to see that friend a little bit later on by the way we got a very spicy dish here and you can shoot out a load of puffs of and kill all the ghosts <laughs> all right it's a pretty powerful enemy yeah i mean enemy it's a pretty powerful item but what thing of Kirby's isn't powerful? This is like the only thing that really counts as being a power. Well, aside from the mic, but I mean, you can't steal powers from enemies again, so the only time you'll get powers are from items like such that you find laying around. And, oh, we got a door maze here. The solution to it is actually to take the door all the way at the top, but I'm gonna go through the doors just for the fun of it. By the way, we got those, these spiky enemies are Gordos and they are completely invincible. Oh, do, no, no two-face attack. Will not allow it. Uh, this leads to, yeah, this goes down here. And wait a second, how do I, oh, there we go. It's, oh wait, what the? Oh, wait, that was the, that was the room that I was in that was trapped with the two-face, okay. So that wasn't so much a maze as it was just picking, ah, picking the doors of uh, I mean, trial and error of dead ends, and here we go, Lololo and la la la, la 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 is the one with the bow down there. You can't really tell uh, their colors because this is a black and white Game Boy game, and they didn't get their colors until later games. Anyway, just stay at one of these junctions here, like between levels, and suck in the blocks, shoot them back out, and you will be golden. They each have their own uh, health bar, so keep that in mind. You might want to divide and conquer, actually, like I just did there by killing one at a time. And Oh, I wanted to get the other block in time before it went inside. Shoot, 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 yeah! Pretty easy, boss. And World 2 is done. Well, Stage 2. Do the Kirby! Woohoo! I did that exact dance, but you couldn't tell because I was behind the camera. And I mean, I, Yeah, I mean, the camera wasn't on me, sorry. Anyway, Stage 3, Float Islands. There was a hook, and he ate it. I don't know how he managed to not remember that there was a hook on the end of the line, but eh, that's just how things go with Kirby. Look out for coconuts. They will destroy you, as they are incredibly explosive. Yeah, a lot, that's something that a lot of people don't know about coconuts, is that the inside... Ah! The inside milk is highly combustible, so you could use them as a pretty deadly weapon in that sense, but, you know, use coconuts responsibly here. I mean, they, they, they don't give coconuts out just for you to abuse them and, you know, kill people with them or something like that. So just use coconuts for your culinary needs and you should be good to go for the most part. Or maybe if you're, like, digging for gold or something, you can use these coconuts to do so. You can also use the coconuts to uh, uh, shoot enemies as well you could, by uh, sucking them and shooting them out. They're... Uh, oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. They are quite useful overall but can also be a hindrance and those poor caboos they are trapped forever ah! in the walls of the world it's so sad they, they're going to starve to death if they eat food by the way there's the secret door here Woo! and the secret area which leads to i think it's a maximum tomato if i recall correct oh it's a one-up so it's not a maximum tomato but I guess uh, the one-ups are okay as well. And, yep, I'm going in the direction I just was. That was the... Oh, oh, that was the door. And look out for spikes, obviously. Yep. As I totally flubbed my pressing of the up on the D-pad. <laughs> that, that's okay. That's why Kirby has multiple health. And go up here for a... Wait, actually, hold on a sec. Isn't it? Yeah, this isn't a door, this is just an uh, opening in the wall. Some of these things, because, you know, the limited graphics, graphical capabilities do look like doors, or, or that could be doors such as this, but aren't actually doors. Yeah, uh-oh. Power up! Oh, Just spam the button! So spicy, but so good! Oops. Get up! Nope, you don't! Not gonna happen! Secret! Oh, and my power is running out. Oh, that's so sad. But I made it in here. So I guess it was all worth it in the end because it helped me out. Otherwise, I'd have to use a puff of air to get in there anyway. Oh, oh that was, I forgot to count the bullets, but that worked out anyway. Well, actually, they're more like cannonballs. The warp star! Woo! 
Well, come to think of it, cannonballs are are pretty much bullets, but they're like really big bullets. Oh, jeez! Kirby, why did you just land there? Oh, well, it worked out. We're all in, we're in the sky now. It's good. It's beautiful, though kind of humid because, you know, the clouds are made of water. And, uh oh Oh, yeah. Super flying ability. And we got Kablua. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. Watch out for the cannonballs. It is Don Maku Kirby. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. No, don't you dare charge at me. Er Oh yeah, you can only shoot forward, by the way, in case you can't realize that, so just let it pass whenever it is going to charge at you like that, and you shouldn't have all that much difficulty with Kablua, and the level is done. I never get tired of doing the Kirby. Woo! I also never get tired of Green Greens. That is like the most catchy song ever. Oh jeez, Kirby- Oh! It's multiplying! Jeez! Kirby's are like rabbits! When they touch a cloud or go inside a cloud, that actually could be thought of as many different ways of going inside. Ah, forget it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go through the level and put that thought out of my mind. Oh, geez, Scarfy. They, when you try and suck them in, they get all angry and, go, and then they come after you like that. So, oh, shoot. Try not to suck them in. Try oh, jeez. I didn't mean to do that. I just touched the edge of the screen and I disintegrated. Down is death. Ah, down is always death. Always remember that. It is the most dangerous part of any level. By the way, there's no slide in this game, in case you didn't realize that. Because I haven't been using slide or anything like Oh shoot, didn't want to do that. I actually want to do that. Oh, no, not this time. That was the hole that dis dist destroyed me. Why am I getting destroyed by simple enemies? I don't know. This is an incredibly easy game. Well... Sort of. There's actually another mode to this game, but you'll see once I uh, get to, Well, I probably won't show it actually in this walkthrough movie. It, it, I think it would be more fitting in its own movie of sorts, so to speak. Oh, Sir Kibble, I wish I could steal your cutter, but I can't. Oh, Waddle do. I wish I could steal your beam, but I can't. It just was not invented at this point in time. Alas. Alas. Maybe one day- Ah! Ambush. <laughs> but don't worry, doors act as checkpoints. I should say new areas act as checkpoints, because you know, like you go, when you go through uh, warp, I mean, take a warp star or something like that, it also works, and yeah, you go, ah, ah. not this time, not this time. You can also swallow enemies by pressing down, but I prefer to shoot them out at things, because projectiles are infinitely more useful than swallowing. Yeah, whoa, whoa, not gonna happen. And now, we are going deeper inside the clouds. I'm kind of wondering how these are so solid. Well, then again, Kirby's pretty light, so maybe, just maybe, that's how it, ha it works. Like, his body isn't quite as dense as the clouds are. But then again, Gordo over there has got pretty medley body. And yeah, maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe not. I'm just questioning the game logic. And I shouldn't be doing that because, yeah, the, wor the world is going to implode. By the way, when you're in water like that, you can just press up to move or jump out of it and whatnot. If that wasn't obvious from the seaside land, so to speak. Anyway, moving on. Oh, jeez. Why do I keep trying to suck those guys in? It's just instinct of Kirby. Pure instinct. Anyway, min bid boss time, Krako Jr. You probably want to stay in the corner most of the time. And I kind of failed. Oh, there we go. Yeah, but, oh yeah. I don't think you can suck in those cannonballs if I recall correctly. You can only suck in the waddle doos, so be mindful of that. Yep, can't suck in the cannonballs. Just wanted to try that for the heck of it. Just wanted to confirm that for my own self. Because I wasn't entirely sure there, obviously. And warp star to the heavens in space. Woo! Going down. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no. Oh yeah. The power of infinite puffs is in my grasp. <laughs> that is one gassy item, I swear. And maximum tomato. There's a lot of rewards here, I gotta say. Got a whole bunch of stuff in uh, inside the walls. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm st even though I've played this game a couple of times, I'm still not entirely used to pressing up 
to do uh, floatiness. It, if, because I'm so used to other Kirby games, and this is like the only one that you have to press up to float up. Well, not, maybe not the only one, but you, know, you get what I'm saying. Look out for the stars, by the way. They, they are... Uh, Again, remember Kirby's allergies, got the issues with the stars, so touching stars will hurt him. And yeah, so let's go inside this door, and now we're climbing upwards, but be careful in this area, because there's a lot of stuff that like to come down on you like that, like parasols and waddle dees, and oh! Nope, nope, stop homing in on me. Stop that. And if you go up to this moon and press up, oh, 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 whoops, if you go up to the moon and press up, secret area! Woo! Grab the tomato or tomato, your choice of wording. Grab the one ups. Oh, yeah. And it eventually leads over to a door like that. That should have went for the one up, actually. And now we got the full fledged Cracko with poorly cut out square eyeball. <laughs> Limitations in graphics again. Oh, oh, geez. You probably want to stand more towards a corner most of the time if you can because it's the most safe spot of all times and switch sides whenever it goes to one uh, switch sides with it whenever it goes to one side basically and just let it do its thing you want to stay as far away from it as possible basically Krakow is a pretty tricky boss if you don't know its attack patterns because it can surprise you like because if you're like right underneath it you're gonna get hit by that beam and yeah oh that was close. <laughs> That's why you want to keep switching sides. Stay away from Krako. It is an evil cloud. And I thought it had an electric t attack, but maybe that's in later Kirby games. I mean, it, it's got like a thunder. It shoots out thunder from above straight down. And do the Kirby once again. Woo! Another level bites the dust. And now we're heading over to the final stage, Mount DDD. Oh boy. It's real. It's getting real here. Whoa. Infiltrating the castle of DDD. Portraits everywhere. And we got a sort of stage slash boss rush here. Pick your poison, I suppose, first. Like, pick the worst one. I mean, the one, the boss that you have the least um, ease beating, I guess you could say. For me, that would probably be Kablua. All right, first, you got a little stage, and I mean, it's a really little stage. I mean, a very little stage, and it eventually leads over to a Kirby clone. Ah, let me through. Dang, ah, one block area. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh, okay. And over here, it destroys the Gordo, like one of the few times you can destroy a Gordo. And I don't know why there's a Kirby there, It's I guess it's one of the many Kirbys that have bred from that cloud. And then it leads to a boss. Of course, it is Kablua. As I said, pick the one that you have the most difficulty with. The reason why I have the most difficulty with this boss is because it's such a frantic boss, and it's sometimes difficult to predict its movement. Ah, oh, like that. <laughs> but it's okay. It's done. It's over with. And by the way, if you should run out of lives, you have to do these all over again. So that's definitely why you want to pick your worst boss first. Okay, let's go over to my second worst boss, Krako. Hey, wait, that's... wait, do these stars hurt me? I thought those other stars in the ah, the other room hurt me, but these apparently don't, unless there was just odd hitboxes or something. Yeah! Got another Kirby clone, and it's time to battle Krako once again, even though I just battled it. Like I said, it's like a boss rush slash levels in review sort of thing, and then it leads to the final boss of doom. Alright, no, 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 not gonna happen, nope, I almost got hit by the waddle -doo beam, and you definitely want to clear out the enemies on the, on the lower ground, because it's just so much easier to just walk underneath it like that, otherwise you're trying to thread the needle between an enemy and Krakow when you're going between it, and it's just, it doesn't work out most of the time, because you, because you're, ah, because your floaty jump, you can't control it in an exact straight line. Because it's always up and down bobbing like that. Uh, it's probably la 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 and la la la. Although, maybe not. Uh, I, I mean, in terms of hardest... Oh, what'd you know? 
Ah, Zoo face got me. <laughs> but that's okay. I still have many lives. Many more to go. No, no. Oh. That, the two face enemies are kind of tricky because you got to pay attention to when they flip around to their more evil side. And that's the point in time when you can suck them in. Anyway, that was a ridiculously short area. In case you didn't realize that, get out of my way. I want to show. The, oh, I, th I thought there was. Oh, shoot! Why did I. <laughs> Why did I think that was a good idea to do? <laughs> Duh. I thought there was something down in that corner, like a Maxim Tomato or something like that, but I, maybe I'm thinking of some other stage that had... That two-face keeps getting me. Alright, I'm just gonna go to the end. Just take the dancing Kirby, eat it, cannibalize it, and we're done with the level. Well, maybe not. I mean, we still got uh, la 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 and la la la, so yeah. But uh, they're a rel relatively easy boss. Just gotta stay in, as I said, one of these junctions, and you shouldn't have any issues defeating it. Uh, not really able to divide and conquer with the current setups that are. Well, maybe I can, because there's another low, low, low pass there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I tried to thread the needle. Why did I do that? Never take unnecessary risks when you have to do something like a boss rush all in a row. There we go. But I got enough lives to spare, I suppose. Wispy Woods area! With Return of the Green Greens music. The most classic of Kirby tunes. The most recognizable and trees that without roots. How does this even work? <laughs> but again, I probably shouldn't be questioning the game logic. Ridiculously short stage once again. Wispy Woods, you and I Right now, in the ring, let's do this. Oh no! I hate that puff of air. It's 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 so unpredictable, and you can't like stay in the air too close to the top either, because apples could pop out at any time. And yeah, it's it, it. In all honesty, this is probably the most difficult version of Wispy Woods of all the Kirby games, in my opinion. <laughs> and oh, 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 game's over. No! You actually go up here, you press up at that, and you face the final boss! King DDD! Suck in the stars, shoot him out at him, look at his life bar, and... I should probably just die here, because I, I, I kinda... I'm gonna have issues defeating him with so few health. Well, I guess maybe I have a shot at defeating him. No, no, no. I mean, it's possible. I'll consider this a practice run of sorts and see how things go. I, I guess you, you could say... He's just kind of unpredictable and that he can jump all the way to the top of the screen whenever he wants to, and Kirby's kind of floaty and slow, which makes it difficult to dodge, something like that. And that's why I would prefer to have more health, so maybe I should suicide, but as I said, I'll consider this a practice run, just to see, um, just to get the hang, ah, the hang of his patterns again, I guess. Oh, oh that was close. Whenever he, whenever he crouches down like that, you can tell that he's going to be jumping, uh, and yeah, Nope. Nope. Oh, oh. Give me stars. Uh. Yeah, as you can tell, he gets a little bit more unpredictable as you go, unless it's just the way the AI is. <laughs> I don't I don't know if it's designed that way, if it's, or if it's just how it seems that way. I don't know, maybe it's the tension of sorts that make it seem like it's getting more intense. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, six more hits. I am doing well. Haven't taken a hit yet, and I'm probably gonna take a load of hits just because I said that. Aha! We're almost on equal ground. Oh, he's almost down to three hits. Oh, nope. I don't think so, King DDD. I don't think so. I will recover the food you have stolen. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I want you to hit the ground and make some stars. It's very important. Not like that. <laughs> Like this, there we go. Oh, and I failed to press the button soon enough. Ow. Oh, come on, DDD. Work with me here. Although I guess you not working with me here is kind of uh, conductive to, uh, to your victory. Ah, I knew I was going to take a hit eventually. That was a rather unpredictable slide that he did there. That's okay. I just, I'm still in this. Still in this. Uh, oh, oh, oh. You got to kind of bait him into, into hitting the hammer because he will not... Uh, swing the hammer until you're within his range, if you didn't realize that. Alright, alright, equal ground, baby! Oh, oh, oh! 
Come on, shoot! No, oh, oh. I was gonna say shoot all the star. No, 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 no. Oh. In later Kirby games, that slide tends to make stars pop out as well. So, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Guess this wasn't a practice run after all. This is the real deal. I could very well be DDD right here, right now. Yeah! Woohoo! DDD has been defeated. Final Kirby dance with all the stars. But first, a huge Kirby balloon! I guess he needed all those stars to power himself up to be able to lift the castle up and drop the food all back down into the kingdom. Woo! And we got the credits! That is a very short game. <laughs> there is an extra game to this, but I don't think I'm going to do it in this particular walkthrough movie. It kinda, I think it would be more fitting in its own... Uh, video, so to speak, because I because the in order to start the extra game, you pretty much, um, you know, start from the very beginning. Except everything is harder. You take double damage. Enemies are tougher and stuff like that. So that's that's gonna be something for later, I suppose. Anyway, as I usually say, I did not make the game. These awesome designers did. I just made the walkthrough to help and entertain you. So let's watch Kirby drift into the sunsets and watch so many players play the game only it's just me at this time now and it's gonna be a laboratory in Nintendo of course they've always made, made the Kirby game since the very start you're welcome you're welcome it was a pleasure oh geez well oh, oh, I was gonna say that the castle's gonna be destroyed but no it worked, it worked out now, we are going to get a little something special here. Bye-bye! Oh. And if you press... Oh, I guess you don't have to press a button. <laughs> and now it's going to tell you a little teeny tiny code here to use uh, for the extra game. Press up A and select on the title screen to start a new adventure. Good luck! And, well, now Kirby... I mean, DDD is kind of blocking the good luck. Dang it! Get out of the way! You're blocking the text. Oh, there you go. It's okay. You'll have another chance on the extra game. <sighs> and with that, the walkthrough movie is over. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. I gotta kind of reset the game here. Okay. From here, as I said, select up A. Uh, select up A. Kind of difficult to do on it. Ah, there we go. And if you press select down B, you can change the uh, amount of lives that Kirby has, uh, as well as the um, uh, vitals that you have at max, basically. Uh, so, oh, and you also get a sound test as well, which is pretty nice, so keep that in mind. Yeah, it's really difficult to do that code on a, a Wii Remote, because it's like, Two hands pressing buttons on a flat surface. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Rock out. Rock out to the tunes. Okay, now I'm done. <laughs>